Hey guys, today I'm going to make one of my skillet breakfasts. So let's get toasting. I have a couple of russet potatoes here that I washed off, so I'll just show you how I cut them real quick. Go in half like that, and then down the middle, and then a couple slices on each side like that. Oops, that one didn't go so well. <laughs> kind of fumbling here. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right, there we go. And I'll do this one. Just do the rest of them just like that, and we'll get them into the pan. Those taters were pretty big, so I cut them in half lengthwise, too. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on them. This is avocado oil. But you'd use any kind of oil that you like or you have. And usually I use the Johnny seasoned pepper, but I think I'll try this barbecue rub that I have. Hot rub by the J. Christopher Company. I used this on pork and chicken in my last couple of videos. This has sumac, turbinado sugar, paprika, onion, cayenne pepper, garlic, crushed red pepper, kosher sea salt, mustard, and spices in it. So I'll try a little bit of that on these taters just to change it up a bit. This is kind of make them a little spicy with the cayenne pepper and the crushed red pepper in there. So let's see how this is. And I've got some turkey kielbasa there that I'm going to um, add to this after the potatoes are cooked. So that is already cooked. So I just cut it up into pieces and add it to the potatoes once they're cooked. And I've also got some eggs there. So I'll crack a couple of eggs on top as well. So these look pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and get these cooking in my toaster oven now. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll cut up a little bit of that sausage while these are cooking. Like I said, this sausage is already cooked, this turkey kielbasa, so it just has to warm up. So I think I can probably add it same time that I add the eggs because it just has to heat up a little bit so I'll cut it like in fairly thin pieces so it so it uh, heats up pretty quickly my potatoes were in the oven for half an hour and they look good so now let's we'll see if we can crack a couple of eggs on top here one Two. and I'll just put the sausage on top here all right that looks pretty good now I'll get that back into the oven until the eggs are cooked actually I think I'm gonna sprinkle on just a little bit of Johnny's seasoned pepper on top before I do that you know me and my Johnny's seasoned pepper I put that on everything <laughs> I'll just keep an eye on this until the eggs are cooked the way I want them. It's been about five minutes, so let's check on these. I try to make my uh, yolks runny, so looks like they're still a little bit runny. I'm going to get them out of there. All right, let's see how this came out. Looks pretty good to me. Let's see how my eggs are. Oh, yeah, that yolk's runny. That looks pretty good. And, yeah, I think they're about right. Grab a little bit of everything here and try that out. That's pretty good. A little bite at the end there. That, that rub has a little bit of a kick to it with that cayenne pepper and the fresh red pepper in it. Actually needs a little bit of salt, but I can add that. That's not a very salty rub. So that's fine, it's pretty good. I'm not sure if Annie like that spicy rub, but we can give her a piece of sausage. There you go, Annie. So I cooked the potatoes for about 30 minutes, and then once I added the eggs and sausage, those took about five more minutes, so about 35 minutes total. Anyway, I'll write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.